Well, the truth is, all the texts are, agree that the five-lettered name Yahusha in Hebrew is Yod, He, Ua, Shin, Ayin. It was a name that was created by adding one letter to the beginning of the name Husha. And if you read Numbers chapter 13, verse 16, especially if you look at it interlinear, you'll see that Musha, or Moses, called Husha, Yahusha. That's Numbers chapter 13, verse 16. And it's found 216 times that way from then on. His name before was Husha, four letters. Well, the, the interesting thing about this is the lie has taken over. And we've got all these invented names like uh, J-E-S-U-S, I-E-S-O-U-S, all these fake names. There's a hoax being pulled on us, and uh, we have to learn who, we're, who it is that we're worshiping. The name J-E-S-U-S is less than 500 years old. When truth confronts the lie, there's an initial reaction. <laughs> the lie has to be defended somehow, and they've got to go to great extent to do that. There was a, a nonfiction writer who died in 2008 and I believe he was around 77 years old. His name was Dresden James. He was actually a, a, a TV a writer, you know, a TV screenwriter for most of his career. And uh, he was born in 1931, and he was involved in writing for things like The Avengers and Mission Impossible, a lot of big names. Uh, his real name wasn't Dresden James, it was a, that's a writer name. He took that. His real name was Donald Wheel, W-H-E-L, W-H-E-A-L. He was born in England, and that's where he worked. Anyway, he once quoted this, and you'll find this on the internet if you look this up, Dresden James. He said, a truth's initial commotion is directly proportional to how deeply the lie was believed. It wasn't the world being round that agitated people, but that the world wasn't flat. When a well-packaged web of lies has been sold gradually to the masses over generations, the truth will seem utterly preposterous and its speaker a raving lunatic. <laughs> he also went on to say this quote, the ideal tyranny is that which is ignorantly self-administered by its victims. The most perfect slaves are therefore those which blissfully and unawaredly enslave themselves." Unquote. The CIA knows well what that, what that can do. Anyway, lies have been embraced about the scriptures, and they continue to confront those who research to find truth you become an oddball when you do research because you're interested in a topic and you do deep research to find out more about that topic. Since I got out of college, I, I went back to the university library and I wanted more information on a lot of topics concerning languages, alphabets, the real name of the creator was what I was pursuing. And they were hiding it. The Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in 1947. The Jesuits swooped in, took control over the whole scroll team. Everybody on the scroll team was a Jesuit, and they recruited one Yehudi that was a scholar <clears throat> in the 1990s just because they knew more about the, the ancient languages than the Jesuits did. But their objectives were to hide the name. The Dead Sea Scrolls were buried in those scrolls, those jars, those caves for one reason, and that is because the name was written on the scrolls. The name J-E-S-U-S wasn't there, and that's what really confronted them. They were going, we can't find this name. And there was a pastor that stood up a few years ago here in Louisville, and I think I've mentioned it in other videos. <clears throat> he said, this name J-E-S-U-S, 
doesn't seem to be real. It seems to appear out of thin air. It doesn't. It isn't substantiated. It's less than 500 years old, and it took another form in the first King James edition. Uh, the first edition, it appeared as I E S V, which the V is a U in Latin, and it was based on the Latin Vulgate. And that was in, that was inserted as a device to appear to be a name of a deity, and it, because it was underlined, and <clears throat> that's called a titlos, which means a title. It stands for a name, but it's not the name. And people that do research find this out, and uh, I'm one of those. I'm a nonfiction writer. I'm not writing fiction. I'm doing deep research like a reporter should do. Anyway, the texts of Scripture all agree that the name Yahusha is expressed in five letters, 216 times. And you can see it, it was mutilated as I-E-S-V, I-E-S-V-M, I-E-S-O-U-S, and other forms in Latin and Greek. If you look at Zechariah, I, I don't call him that, I call him Zechariah. Zechariah 3. In an online interlinear study, you'll see, just look up interlinear Zechariah 3, and you'll see the chapter. Well, in the first verse, you'll see the high priest is named Yahusha. It's written in those five letters. And this confirms the spelling for the word is Yod, He, Ua, Shin, Ayin. It's a name that means I am your deliverer. This is the new name Musha gave to his assistant at Numbers 13, verse 16, by adding the one letter to the beginning of the name Yahusha. It's not Joshua. The Dead Sea Scroll photographs have been sequestered, hidden away, concerning the name of Yahusha. The Jesuits have maintained tight control over the scrolls with cooperation from the Israeli Antiquities Authority, or the IAA, in spite of claiming to have released all the photos. A recent fuzzy photo of a newly discovered scroll of Zechariah 3 is shown here. With the IAA running defense, the Jesuits have kept the internet scrubbed of widespread knowledge that the name J-E-S-U-S is the real hoax. Our deliverer's name is Yahusha, and he will not give his esteem to any other. Thanks for watching this, and we'll see you in the next video.